Russian President Vladimir Putin has banned the release of information relating to troop deaths in so-called special operations. He signed a new amendment today that classifies such details as state secrets. The Kremlin continues to brush off allegations that its soldiers are fighting in Ukraine. That was a topic at the Atlantic Council here in Washington, Day, Washington today at an event called Hiding in Plain Sight, Putin's War in Ukraine. Well, Max Supersky is with the Council and he joins me now. Max, thank, thank you, you very much, much indeed. You. Um, now, you also published a report by the same name. Um, using public source material, what did you find that we didn't already know? or suspect? So we found, at this point, most everyone knows that there's Russian troops in Ukraine, but what we were able to do is actually go out there and verify it, and we were actually able to see the whole scale of Russian troops. They are a big journey all the way from somewhere along the Russian-Mongolian border, all the way to uh, the Russian-Ukrainian border, and then into the country, uh, as well as the mass amount of military equipment that is being supplied from the Kremlin to the so-called separatist forces, which turn out in most cases actually to be Russian troops. So a sort of a before and after images. Absolutely, absolutely. Now, how reliable are these images? Are they open to interpretation? So what we did, and this is what is so new about this report, is we used a variety of methods to actually verify open source. So when someone posts a picture online, there's a geotech, and anyone could claim that a geotech is wrong. What we did, and this is where we took it a step farther, we used a technique called geolocating that allows us to, uh, to, to offer a sound case and prove that in fact the tags behind the pictures are right and with it there's no really margin of error at all. And you had a specific example about this? Yes, so we have one case where we were able to see pictures from soldiers along a, uh, along a camp, a so-called so staging camp, on the Russian-Ukrainian border. People have been posting pictures. And we went and verified the pictures by just, lose, by just looking casually at Google Maps imagery and comparing that imagery to before and after. And when you look at Google Maps, you will see the vast changes on the map about you know, camps building up there and tents being built up there. Who is this report aimed at? Because presumably the Russians will continue to deny involvement. Do you think it will change the way the West views this conflict? One of the biggest challenges about this conflict has been that continuously we've been referring to the conflict as a civil war, both in Russia and in the West. By trying to point out that the conflict is hiding in plain sight, we want to encourage both the West and the Russian population to speak more truth and more honestly about what is going on in the conflict with the hope that there is a more honest solution to the conflict. We shall see. Max Supersky, thank you very much indeed thank for Thank you so much me. for having me.